good evening everyone this is manas your friend and tutor today it's going to be our lecture 2 in the series of videos on autocad let's take a look at navigation today let's take a look at how you can select the objects there are different ways and we are going to explore all of them let's take a look at how you can zoom in and zoom out i mean there are so many options that autocad has to offer and as a teacher as your instructor it is my responsibility that if not all but i'll try to cover most of the options that the software has to offer let's jump right into it let me take you to the autocad graphic screen here we go okay looks wonderful isn't it a villa right now obviously um for this video we would be requiring this drawing or any drawing for that matter you can have any uh machine drawing or you can have any uh, house drawing this is basically plan elevation and certain sections of a villa you can also download this autocad file by okay let me show you the address the name of the website happens to be this drawingfree.com dwgfree.com i'll provide the link in the description uh click on that and you'll automatically be landed into this page what you need to do if you want to download the same autocad file okay you just need to go over here write down villa press enter this will load up let me click here close this okay that's the villa download the file download this file it's a zip file unzip it okay and then let me show that to you after you unzip it it is going to be something like this double click on it and automatically bang this is the autocad file that will open up right so with this template what we'll try to do is we will try to learn how to select an object first of all let's say right at the very rudimentary level at the very fundamental level let's try to understand what is object selection what is and how we can pan from one position or from one part of the screen to the other here we go for zooming in and for navigation you require this i know a lot of you and students in this era they work pretty much on their laptops using the touchpad but trust me this mouse comes in very handy and i would strongly suggest all of you especially the ones who want to build their career in softwares use a mouse use a mouse with a left click a right click and this mouse wheel okay this wheel is fantastic zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out and there are plenty of other options also okay i'll breeze you through all of them don't worry here we go have a mouse always so if you're watching this video i would strongly suggest you guys to open your laptop um download this file open it up in the autocad uh, environment and then let's let's work on this simultaneously okay watch the video and try to explore it on your screen let's see first of all let's talk about object selection i mean this is something that you must have worked on let's say microsoft word also because in microsoft words also there are predefined templates you can use right so you have to select them just let me show you you see this i want to select this just click on it when you hover your mouse over it see that default cursor when you hover your mouse cursor over it it sort of glows up isn't it and when you click on it it gets selected this blue rectangle that you see this blue rectangle that you see right uh, it indicates that the object has been selected once again if you hover your mouse over this circle the second concentric circle with a bigger radius if you hover up hover the cursor then you will see that it glows up and when you click on it that's how you select an object you don't have to uh, hold the shift key down and keep on selecting of the object no 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 nothing of that sort once you have selected the object and you, you want to get rid of it hit escape done select the object bring the mouse hover over it it glows select or click 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 this is how objects can be selected this is the most simplest way of selecting an object that was object selection okay now let's say we've selected four entities 1 2 3 4 let's say now i want to get rid of this this bigger circle so what i'll do is what i'll do is i'll hold shift okay i'll press and hold shift and then click on this it will be removed out of the four selected entities only this one has been removed let's say now i am thinking about removing this line over here press and hold shift 
click on this, this also gets deselected. So this is how you can work your way through object selection in the most simplest manner. Now, what else? Let's talk about panning. Okay. And if, if you hit escape automatically, all the objects selected will vanish. Now, objects won't vanish. Uh, this, this, these blue dots rather would vanish something like that. Okay. So that was all about object selection. Now, what you see over here, this is the mouse wheel, right? I'm sure you'll be, uh, you are able to see this. This is the mouse wheel. So you go above one sec, one sec. Okay. If you do like this, go above, it zooms in. If you scroll it in the downward direction, it zooms out, zoom in, zooms out, zooms in, zoom out. I'm sure you got the idea. Okay. That's one thing. Now this wheel actually is clickable. Let me tell you it's clickable. And what happens when you click it, just observe the cursor. When I click this, when I click this, you see the default cursor changes to a hand cursor. And now I'm still, <laughs> I pressed it and I am holding it still. Okay. And if I move my mouse, the drawing, the layout also moves. Okay. So this is what you call panning, right? Let's do that again. Press and hold and now move your mouse left, right, whichever way you want. And that is called panning, right? So that was easy. Okay. Now let's, let's get into the details. And firstly, we would like to get into the details of zooming. Okay. And as I said, this scroll in and scroll out one sec, escape, scroll in, scroll out, scroll in, scroll out, press, and then you just move your mouse. It will pan that's panning for you. Okay. I hope you got the point. Anyways, I want my drawing back. Z enter, A enter. It's back. Okay. I'll teach you all of these things. It's very simple. There are some commands, which, which you must remember. Anyway, just take a look. Let's, let's, uh, talk about what shall I talk about first? Let's talk about zoom, zoom in function. Okay. I, the best way to zoom is this as an instructor is it is my responsibility to make sure that you get access to all the options. So if you see this over here is the navigation bar, right? Now let me just zoom in using the scroll scroll, right? And if I want to zoom out, what shall I do? You see this navigation bar in this navigation bar over here, we have a magnifying lens. So all the options for zoom are available right here. And if I click on this drop down menu will open, just click on zoom extends and let's see what happens. Here we go all the drawing which was available in the graphic screen immediately pops up. It perfectly fits, perfectly fits, right? That's zoom extends. So let's take a look at the second option. It's the zoom window option. What I'll do is, okay, just take a look zoom window. Okay. You see the cursor changing click release click only that part has been zoomed in once again. Let's do that once again. Okay. Uh, where shall I zoom? Is there some kind of top view? Okay. This car looks good. We would like to zoom into this car, right? Let's go here. Zoom window. Let's start zooming in from here. Here. That's it. Okay. You want to see that once again, let's zoom into this. So this looks like a dining table, I guess. Go here, zoom window. Click release and click again, right? Now the, the option is such that it will try to maximize the space in your graphic screen. Okay. By zooming in on that entity, right? So that was the second case. Thirdly, let's talk about zoom previous. As soon as I click on zoom previous, as the name suggests, the, it, it will come back to its, to the state it was in before. Let me just tell you zoom previous. That was zoom previous. Okay. Let, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's say this is the initial state and let me press zoom, enter a enter. Okay. Let's say I zoom in like that and then I press on zoom previous. It will go back to its initial state that is zoom previous for you. Okay. Now let's take a look at zoom real time. Here we go. Go to the navigation bar, select zoom real time and click wherever you want. Okay. Keep it pressed, keep the click pressed and then drag your mouse to the right. Let's see what happens. See, 
सम काइंड ऑफ जूमिंग इन इफेक्ट आई डोंट लाइक दिस ओके आई वुड राधे यूज दी स्क्रोल लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जूम आउट क्लिक एंड ड्रैग योर माउस टू दी लेफ्ट दैट सेट वेरी सिंपल आई डोंट लाइक दिस ओके द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इज दी जूम ऑल ऑप्शन हियर इट इज जूम ऑल राइट एज सुन एज यू क्लिक ऑन इट द ड्रॉइंग परफेक्टली फिट्स द ग्राफिक स्क्रीन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर हैज टू बी सम लिमिट्स विच वी इनिशियली हैव टू अप्लाई ओके आई विल टॉक अबाउट लिमिट्स इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू सिंपली कैन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू हैव डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन जूम एक्सटेंड्स ऑल द ड्रॉइंग विल फिट द ग्राफिक स्क्रीन दिस वे एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट जूम ऑल ओके इट विल सेट विद इन दी विद इन दी फिक्सड लिमिट्स लेट मी शो दैट टू यू दैट्स द डिफरेंस देर इज अ डिफरेंस डोंट वरी मच ऑल अबाउट दैट सिंपली प्रेस वेन एवर यू हैव जूम्ड इन अ लॉट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट जेड एंटर ए एंटर एंड दैट्स डन दैट्स डन ओके आई थिंक दैट वुड बी इनफ एंड एनीथिंग एल जूम ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट वेल वी कैन डू दैट ओके यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी ऑब्जेक्ट वेर इज दी ऑब्जेक्ट लेट से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी लेट मी सिलेक्ट दिस सिलेक्ट दिस यू सी देर इज अ स्मॉल स्क्वेयर राइट बिलो दिस मैग्नीफाइंग ग्लास ओके एंड फ्रॉम दैट स्क्वेयर यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट योर ऑब्जेक्ट इफ यू ओके ऑटोमेटिकली दिस ऑब्जेक्ट गेट्स लेट मी जस्ट ओके दिस इज द लेडी इज ग्लोइंग ओके यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट आई दर हिट एंटर और राइट क्लिक आई वुड हिट एंटर एंड हियर वी गो वी हैव जूम्ड इन सिंपल राइट सो वी प्रिटी मच um understood all the zoom tools that are available in the navigation bar now let's take a look at selection windows and there are four options okay one option i mean there are five options out of which one option has already been taught simple selection one by one we were clicking on each and every entity and that's how you can select the objects you can get rid of them by hitting the escape now let's take a look at some pretty good selection window approaches let's take a look Okay, let's say I want to. Okay, I won't go here. <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, that door looks nice, isn't it? The door looks nice. Just take a look. This is going to be very interesting. Let me tell you the selection window approach. Click, release, click again. So all the things. all the entities if you watch carefully these all entities these curves rather they are inside completely inside these all curves are completely inside this blue colored window okay and click back so all of them would get selected once again click anywhere on your screen right stretch it stretch it stretch it the entity which completely lies inside this blue colored area blue colored window will be selected automatically that is selection window for you okay so there is another kind of window let me describe that also that window you have to go from right to left in the selection video it was from left to right and all the objects which were fully inside that blue area were selected now when you talk about crossing window it's something like this you go from right to the left all the objects which are completely inside and the objects which are partially inside so there are objects which are partially inside and they are they have also been selected okay once again these are the objects which will be partially inside and yet you'll see that it being getting selected something like that right so that is crossing window for you okay so based on the kind of work you are doing you can select um you can make your object selection right once again this is selection window okay only the objects which completely fall inside the blue screen are selected and when you talk about the crossing window you go from right to the left and any object fully or partially even if this area is touching it it will automatically get selected and that's how the window works there is another tool which has been recently introduced and it is called the window lasso selection let me talk about it just take a look click and hold move your mouse move your mouse okay i want to select only this part go over here and then release right inside this blue area whatever entity completely lies will be selected so all of these curves or arcs 
they were lying inside completely that's why they have been selected once again let's do that let's start from here and let's move from left of your screen to the right of your screen so all of these entities which have got selected uh, not this way <laughs> let me try it again okay so they were completely inside and that's why they have been selected but you can do it in the crossing fashion also and that crossing fashion is known as the crossing lasso selection something like this from right to left once again click hold drag your mouse all the objects whether they are completely inside the area or even just touching the area will get selected okay that's it so that was all about selection windows so there is a selection window there is a crossing window let me show that once again to you there is this selection window there is this crossing window there is this window lasso window selection okay and then finally what you have is the crossing lasso this way anything any entity partially or fully inside will get selected so guys that was all for today i'm going to come up with another video on limits okay and how you can set up your units how you can uh, set up your own drawing template and that will be in the next lecture that is lecture three right so that was all for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a nice day keep learning keep watching thank you